Uh, one of the big trends again this summer is the old reliable sequel like Rocky II or Airport 79, which the producers of big box office hits try to strike it rich twice with the same formula. And that is certainly the case with Beyond the Poseidon Adventure, which begins the morning after the original <laughs> Poseidon Adventure and retraces the very same ground. In fact, I think they retrace the very same sets. <laughs> after the stars of the last movie have been rescued by helicopter, a tugboat captain played by Michael Caine comes aboard the capsized ocean liner hoping for valuable salvage. But he discovers a new group of survivors. They were overlooked by the last movie, <laughs> and he tries to lead them to safety. Ladies, do you think you can jump this? When I was in the Girl Scout, I once won a medal for the running broad jump. How many tries they give you? Best of three. Show him how it's done, Jim. Take a run at it. Come on, Sarge. Join us. Don't worry about me, Turner. Just as soon as I see you make it, go well, ahead. Well, I can't, Wilbur, I can't, I can't. Wilbur, I can't do it. I cannot make this jump unless I know you're on the other Shut side. Shut up, up Naparia, and why do you jump? Right. Wilbur? Hold the wires back for me. The movie's a who's who of Hollywood stars who somehow were not included in the original Poseidon adventure. We keeping count there, leaping into Michael Caine's arms, there were Sally Field, she was kind of cute, I thought, and Shirley Jones and Carl Malden and Shirley Knight and Peter Boyle and Jack Warden and Slim Pickens, and that's not even counting Telly Savalas. <laughs> the formula is the same as last time. The survivors make their way through the capsized ship. They leap across chasms and dodge explosions and climb up the down staircase. Mm -hmm. And in this scene, they're trying to swim to safety. The characters change, the situations remain the same. I think in the last movie it was Shelley Winters who had to swim for her life. <laughs> Let's put it this way. If you like the Poseidon Adventure, of course you'll like Beyond the Poseidon Adventure, and why shouldn't you? It's the same movie. Michael Caine does a fairly good job of holding the action together, and there are the usual special effects and dire straits, and at the end the Poseidon explodes. Now that means there can't be another sequel, and I call that a happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it is a happy ending. But I'm going to challenge you on one point. You said if you like the original, you like this one. Yeah. I don't think so. As you said, though, it's for the same reason. It is the same movie, and Roger, I don't think the Poseidon Adventure, for as entertaining as it might have been, is the same kind of picture, the strong picture that holds up on a second viewing. This is boring. The only way I could enjoy it is sitting in the theater and saying, hey, look, there's Michael Caine being paid a half a million dollars to jump across a bridge. Well, now, so let's ask, why did they make the sequel, other than to make money, of course? Maybe because there were a few cliches they'd forgotten in the first one, and this one we have a, a blind man, and I'm and a woman with a dislocated shoulder, and a guy on board who's the bad guy trying to steal something out of the, yeah. out of the hold. These are cliches they missed the last time. Now they can rest 
satisfied. They've used every possible cliche that they could possibly get into this one story. Okay, you're, you're making it seem like fun. It was boring to me. I really want to stress that. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Okay, I don't want to make it sound like too much fun either. Okay. Neither Roger nor I thought the sequel Beyond the Poseidon Adventure held water. That's why there's a no next to both of our names. We can't recommend you see it. The film is rated PG.